A group of Seattle leaders and nonprofits think they have a plan to fix one of the city's biggest problems, homelessness. They want to ban outdoor encampments, create thousands of units of permanent housing, and direct more resources toward mental health. King 5's Ted Land walks us through how this would be possible. The proposal called Compassion Seattle would require the city to take a tougher approach to camping in parks and playfields while also directing the city to build more housing and improve social services. Several business groups and nonprofits that don't always agree on how to address homelessness are coming together with a plan to get people off the streets and into housing. They want to change the city charter, which is essentially Seattle's constitution, and require the city to provide easy, fast access to mental health and substance abuse services. Seattle would have to prioritize building more housing, including the creation of an initial 2,000 units. Behavioral health teams would respond to crises as an alternative to police and the proposal would require the city to ensure public spaces remain open and clear of encampments once new homeless programs and services are in place. This is not about sweeps. This is about making sure that public spaces like parks and playgrounds, sports fields, sidewalks, etc., can be free of encampments. Groups behind the proposal include the Downtown Seattle Association, United Way of King County, Chief Seattle Club, and several nonprofits that work on homeless housing. They say they've done polling showing 71% of Seattle voters support their plan. We're confident if we can collect a sufficient number of signatures and get this on the ballot, um, that the voters of Seattle will not only seriously consider it, but will vote to approve it. Compassion Seattle says it'll start collecting signatures this month. They need at least 33,000 of them, and they hope to have their measure on the November ballot. In Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.